we just did a full foundation in depth video of what i like to use how i prep my skin hi guys and welcome to part one of the eid makeup i don't want to say series it's just like it's it's a video in two parts because i show you how i do my skin how i apply my foundation and everything else that goes on top of it in this video and in the video that will come up in a day or two we'll be focused on eyes so yeah let's get straight into it where i show you how i apply basically all the products to get to this finish it was so much fun and i hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to like subscribe and all of the other <laughs> Yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. So we're going to start off with prepping the skin. I've just showered so my skin is fresh. I haven't applied anything on. All I did was cleanse my skin before I showered. And I'm going to go in with the Switch Beauty Superhero Original Spray. Um, so I'm going to spray this all over the face. It's like a beautiful mist. I let this set in my skin for about 30 seconds. And before it completely dries, I like to apply a serum. I've been using this serum for a few months now. And I really love what it's been doing to my skin. I really love my Avene moisturizers. I have a whole box full of empties that I've been loving. And I've got a bunch of Avene in there. I'm going to be doing a video on that. All the products that I've finished because they were so amazing. I'm going to put two pumps of the moisturizer. Okay. Just skin prep is so important. I'm gonna just take my eye cream. I'm using the Dior Capture Youth eye cream. I waited a couple of minutes and my skin has absorbed all the goodness. So we're gonna go straight into the makeup part of this video. So yeah, it's the five in one multi perfecting primer. So I'm gonna go in with a nuke one. Back of my hand. I like to use my hand when applying primer on my face. I just feel like it kind of like warms the product up and it just sort of really gets the primer into my skin. I'm going to go in with the Catrice All Rounder palette and I'm going to be using this flat brush. I'm just going to be using the orange color from this palette. I'm going to apply very little layer. It's just to cover the darkness under my eyes. We're going to do the same on the other eye. We're not using too much, just a little bit, just under the eye. Um, this will help eliminate, eliminate the darkness and it's going to kind of help brighten up the concealer. So on Instagram, I had put up a poll um, asking which foundation I must use. So let me just go check the results. So I asked if I should use my Dior, if I should use True Skin, or if I should use the Maybelline. And I put it up as a poll and just to see which one I should use. Personally, on Eid, I would use my Dior foundation just because it's a special event and um, I want to just wear my high-end product. But it looks like Maybelline has one. And um, this is the new packaging. I have not tried uh, the foundation to sit in the new packaging. I have the old packaging one. I really do enjoy it. And I'm going to be going in with Sand Sable since it has one. I like to mix a little bit of the concealer that I'm going to be using Forever Skin Corrector Concealer from Dior. And the reason why I wanted to mention which foundation I'm using is because I like to mix just a drop of my foundation with my concealer when I apply the concealer. It just blends in so well with the rest of my face. Um, it looks so flawless and I love that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little metal mixer thing that I like to use. I'm not going to actually put it on my finger. But so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pump, so shake this one. Okay. So I'm just going to use a little bit, right? Do you see that? I just like use a dot. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to just take a little bit of the concealer. So I like to apply my concealer with a small fluffy brush. Um, and then I'm just going to mix the two together. And I'm just going to do that. Do you see that? So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to use this fluffy brush to like really get under my eye. I'm going to take this up like that. But it doesn't look like it's too light for me because I don't want that finish, especially for Eid. I want this like soft, glowy, dewy finish. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. 
And before I set it with powder, I'm just gonna apply this Maybelline foundation all over my face. I am the shade 30 Sand Sable. It's a super stay foundation. I'm gonna go in with the Dior brush 11. This is a foundation brush. I like it because it's got this angle over here, but it's still quite thick and it applies foundation really beautifully. I'm also gently pressing it in. So I like to just get the product in really nice. I am gonna go in with a beauty sponge um, afterwards just to make sure the product's in my skin real nice. The one I like is the Elizabeth Arden High Performance Blurring Loose Powder. So this is in the shade Medium 03. I'm gonna use this one today. And we're just going to get some of the product. We're gonna use um, the fluffy brush we used to apply the concealer and then we're just gonna use that same brush to get that product all packed in. As you can see, this, this is very similar to my actual foundation shade or my skin color. So you can barely even see it, but I'm gonna apply quite a little bit just to pack it in. We're gonna keep it on for a few minutes just so it can really set the concealer under my eyes. We're gonna apply some by the nose area. And then I like to apply on my smile lines. So I'm actually very happy with the way my foundation has been applied. What we're gonna do next is contour. So I'm gonna take the Smashbox Studio Skin. Yeah, Studio Skin, it's a shaping foundation. And woo, it's beautiful. So pick up some product like this. You can apply it directly to your skin. You can pick up, I just like to do this sometimes. I just, it just depends on my mood. And then, we're gonna apply it like that, okay? So it's gonna blend, 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 blend. Apply it here as well. Don't forget to take it up as well, and then we just blend. So you can see it adds a very creamy glowy finish i just want to set the contour a little bit it is cream and i want it to move around with the switch beauty actual cheekbone i am using the shade o2 i'm gonna apply some on top of the cream not a lot just a little bit we like the color we have already it's just to kind of make sure that this contour lasts all day and doesn't move around because you don't want it to move around okay this really works for me we like this we do like this Amazing. So the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna close our products that we were really we're done with. We're just gonna close them up, put them aside. I'm gonna be using the glowing multicolor blush from Catrice Cosmetic. I'm going to take a nice fluffy brush. We're gonna pick up product and we're going to smile. Look at that. I like to apply some on the tip of my nose. Just so beautiful. Blend it upwards. Don't don't just put it on the apple of your cheeks. You need to blend it. You've got to blend it. You've got to blend it. You've got to blend your brush. You don't want to just be on the apples of your cheeks. You want it to be on your entire cheek. What are we gonna do next? Ah, before I apply the highlights, I like to just go in with a spray again. I'm going to be using this Dior Backstage Glow Face Highlighter Palette. This is in 003. We're going to be using this one right here. This is Metallic Platinum. This is, this is beautiful. I love it. Okay. So it's going to... We're going to apply this on the highest points. Oh, okay. And then I like to set my face. I love my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This one just is one of the best that's out there. <sighs> so we have come to an end of the first part of this two-part Eid makeup look. We just did a full foundation in-depth video of what I like to use, how I prep my skin. Prepping your skin is so important before going in with foundation. You have to moisturize. So what I'm going to do now is on this face, I'm going to be doing my eyes so I won't be changing or anything of that sort and you will be able to see how I do my eyes in the next video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I really hope it's helpful and yeah, um, 
I will definitely be making more videos before Eid but just in case I hope you guys have a beautiful Eid and please watch part 2 to see how I do my eyes for Eid thank you so much for watching bye